everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be something a little different. As you guys can see by what's on the screen, I have in front of me an assortment of collect books. So yes, we're gonna be setting up some collect books today. This was definitely something that was like unplanned and definitely more spontaneous because I never thought I would get any collect books. I've obviously known about collect books and I think they're cute and all, but the reason why I never like got any is because I just thought like for me personally, they wouldn't be like good for my own collections because obviously when I have a collection or start a collection, it's gonna be kind of big. So I would like to put them in like a normal size binder, but I don't know, just recently I started to get into collect books more and more and I thought they were super cute and they were like just some photo cards and like some mini collections that I thought would be perfect for these collect books so I started to buy like one or two from like Amazon and then it just happened to blow up to this so as you can see I do have eight collect books here and they're all the collect books that are like single page collect books like th this type I know there's like another type of collect book which is like this this is a collect book that I've had for like a while now because I initially bought this for just like the Polaroids that came with it. This is from the NCT Resonance Part 2 merch and it's like this sort of style where it's like two pockets. The reason why I don't like these type of collect book is because I don't know I just like the vertical look and I kind of like like how each page has like one photo card you know instead of just like it being like sideways and there's two cards so yeah i don't really opt for this kind of collect book just the one pages so yeah of course if you're wondering where i got these collect books or like my supplies i'll have my card like link with all of the links to where i got everything so check that out if you wanna and yeah so these collect books are gonna hold like not even like collections like i'm just gonna go like mini collections yeah these are not going to be like my usual collections where it's like i collect all the album cards and whatever these are just like i don't know i don't i just like to call them like silly little collections i guess they're just like very spontaneous it's mainly for like photo cards where like if i really like a comeback but i'm not gonna like collect the group or whatever i'm just gonna buy the album you know like there's been some situations where i bought an album because i really liked that specific album and like I like the artist but I don't want to like collect them fully you know so that's what these collections are for it's just like silly little collections you know it's like it's basically like my miscellaneous binder except for I split them up into collect books so yeah I'll like like obviously dive into it more here's a little like sneak peek of the box of photo cards there's that even though you're gonna see it in like three seconds so yeah i mean i know there's not much to like really set up because you know it's really it's really just gonna be me putting the photo cards in these binders and that's really gonna be it but i just thought it'd be fun to make a little video about it so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get into it because i've been dying to set these up all right so this is the first collect book i'm gonna start with it's this cute little little blue cloud collect book I got this from Amazon <laughs> most of these are gonna be from Amazon because um like I said before like this is just gonna be like a silly little thing so I just bought them super quick off Amazon I know there's like a bunch of different collect books from like a bunch of different places and I feel like I'm gonna like upgrade my collect books over time you know these are just kind of temporary maybe but yeah this one is from Amazon but it's super cute I really like the whole like blue cloud aesthetic i don't like how it says mini photo album right here but regardless it's super cute so for this collect book i'm actually going to be putting in kind of a new collection let's just say so this collect book is gonna house woods <laughs> So yes, I don't think I've ever really mentioned this. I mean, I posted about it like on Instagram like once or twice, but I have been recently getting into woods and I know it may come off as a surprise, but my little story about getting into woods is I was like on the plane flying from Atlanta to back to California. And before my plane took off, I got a recommended video of his music video for I Hate You, which is his latest comeback. And I just decided to watch it. I was like, why not? Let me just check it out. And I really liked it. And so before the flight took off, I downloaded his album, Colorful Trauma, and I listened to it on the plane. And I just like fell in love with it. Like I was like, wow, this is genuinely a no skip album. I really 
love this entire album like i love it seriously so i started to like i don't know slowly go back to his discography and just really listen to it and oh my god i've been really sleeping on woods like i literally have a fellow youtube friend maria aka honey dumochi she's literally like the number one moods or wood stan and i see her videos about collecting woods and i just never really bothered to check him out for some reason i'm an idiot but yeah i have been in the rabbit hole of woods so yeah i did buy his recent comeback uh, colorful trauma i know i never really like unboxed it or anything but i've been doing a lot of things off camera recently i actually wanted to save this for like a secret haul i tweeted about it but unfortunately i don't have everything I want for that video so i'm just gonna do this video first but anyways yes this is gonna house my mini woods collection i'm seriously debating on whether or not i should like buy some of his previous albums too y'all i am in my simp era i don't know what i'm doing anymore but for now i just have his colorful trauma photo cards this is like just from like one set of albums so yeah that's why it's gonna live in this collect book for now might change we'll see how big my collection gets but yes i'm officially a wood stand i guess that's my official announcement but anyways let's set this up so for the cover this is literally the perfect photo card it's from his digipack and it's so cute and it's literally blue hello it matches so yeah also all of woods's photo cards are seriously so adorable like oh my god <laughs> again i know he has like just a bunch of photo cards he literally has like 20 plus photo cards per album which is what makes me like a little hesitant to collect him but that's why i said that these collections are not going to be like full-on collections hence the size of the collect books so yeah okay i'm talking way too much i'm sorry but that's the cover i'm obsessed and so let's get setting up so this these are my pulls from the colorful version all of these cards are so cute i just kind of wish he took the photos like elsewhere you know because all of these photo cards are him against the white background and it's like come on please <laughs> change it up a bit you know i just wish he took some pics on the music video set or whatever but regardless the photo cards are super cute and i am gonna double cite these because as much as i would like to see the back of the cards there's just not gonna be enough space for that so yeah and then we have some of his trauma version cards I just think these photo cards look super cute in a collect book, you know? Something about a collect book these days just looks super cute. And also, I kind of like the way it slides in like this. For some reason, I've been watching a lot of like Korean collector TikToks and they all use collect books, so it's just like <laughs> they influenced me. But anyways, and then we have some of his hollow cards. Yeah, these are just from like my initial copies of Colorful Trauma. I do have kind of a lot on the way because I bought like some copies from like Makestar for the period of benefits and then I bought the M-Wave signed copies and then oh yeah and then I bought some copies from Soundwave because they had like a lucky draw event so those are going to be coming in soon but anyways yeah so i'm not looking to like buy anything right now because i'm just waiting for my albums to come in and then we have this digipack card i did buy two of his digipacks so yeah this is the second card that i pulled which is so cute oh my god okay and then i just decided to put his stickers away for now like the stickers with his face on it i know it's kind of like strange to put it in but whatever you know they look really nice and it's just to fill up the binder for the for the meantime but yeah i've seriously been obsessed with woods he's literally all i've been listening to these past couple of days his entire discography is just amazing i've seriously added like 15 woods songs to my k-pop playlist because oh my god his music is so good i don't know why i've been sleeping on him this whole time he's amazing it's the last sticker that i have But yeah, anyways, let's do a quick little flip through. Oh my god, I'm still just obsessed with that photo. Yay! So yeah, this is my mini Woods collection for now. I'm gonna like maybe buy some of his older albums like in a future maybe Shop With Me video. Not right now because I've spent too much money on a bunch of other shit. So definitely not the time to start a new collection. But this is just my mini Woods collection for now.
and I'm very happy about it. All right, next we're gonna move on to this collect book. This collect book I actually didn't get from Amazon. I got this from Urichingu, which is like an online LA-based like sticker shop and like collect book shop. They have a bunch of cute collect books, so I decided to get these. I definitely want to get like keychains for each of my collect books. I just don't know where to look, so. But for this collect book, I decided to put my Sungchan collection. Now, obviously, you guys know that I've been collecting Sungchan for like the past, what, since his debut, basically. And his collection obviously doesn't get a lot of love because he's just not that active <laughs> besides like the NCT group, like full group activities which is very sad so yeah i barely work on this collection because there's nothing to really collect and i've moved him from my big binders to an a5 binder and then i realized why don't i put him in a collect book you know because this collection doesn't really grow that quickly and i keep like moving it back and forth since it's such a small collection so this is literally like the perfect instance for a collect book you know so that's what i'm doing for the cover photo card i think i'm gonna go with I was debating between these two, but the shape of this collect book hole is like, it's very odd. So I wanted to use this card originally, but it's like kind of cut off right here. It's not very centered. So I think I was leaning towards more this photo card. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a little more centered. So I think I'm just going to go with this one. Super cute. And yeah, I'm just going to put in my my small Songchan collection again. It's very sad that he's not like in a fixed NCT unit yet. So we only get to collect him for like, you know, the full group yearly projects. Hopefully he does something soon. <laughs> like SM, please. He's literally... Wait, is he still an MC? I don't think he is anymore, right? I, I totally forgot, but yeah. <laughs> Please give my man something to do. But we have his residence cards. This is still like my favorite Songshan card ever. Honestly, I feel like there's not too many Songshan collectors out there, so maybe I can go back and collect some of his Kino cards since I remember when I first started to get these, they were like super expensive, but I feel like maybe now it's not gonna be that bad. And move on to part two. This collect book though, like if I sleeve the cards, it kind of sticks out at the end here, which kind of worries me. But obviously I want to sleeve the cards because I'm pretty sure these have PVC in it. But yeah, and also like these pages are like the glossiness. It sticks to the cards super easily, so I don't like that. The sleeves I'm using, by the way, are Mayday sleeves. They're the, I think they're called the deep purple, dark purple, the purple sleeves. They're just like the perfect fit sleeves basically i love these sleeves honestly i recently discovered them and yeah they're super nice and then we move on to universe so we have the other card in the front we have his universe card and i didn't show this in a video um <laughs> it might be in a future collective haul but this is obviously a replica that i got from a group order you can definitely tell it's a replica but i just got it because it was like you know like 50 cents so it's still super pretty and then we have some like non-album cards. This was from the Resonance Collect book that I showed earlier. And then I got this also in my collective haul, but these are his like universe trading pack cards, I believe that's what they're called. Oh my god, him in this baseball outfit though, it's so cute. And lastly, this ID card. Yeah, see, there's like still a bunch of space left, so a collect book is definitely perfect for this collection. But let's do another flip through. I don't know why, like, <laughs> I just suddenly started to love collect books. They're just so cute. I, I honestly can't, like, <laughs> stop staring at them. They're so cute. I really just like the one photo card per page thing as well. So, yeah, anyways, that's my new home. <laughs> For my Songchan collection. Okay, this is the next collect book. I know I covered this earlier in my intro because I couldn't take out the cover photo, but this collect book is for <laughs> yet again another collection. I know it seems like I'm going insane with these collections, but once again, these are like very small, like not even full on collections. So, like, yeah, <laughs> me trying to justify my bad decisions, but it is for 
Chechan from DKZ. So I never really talked about this either. Sometimes I just like to keep things off camera, but I, well, not recently, I guess, but not too long ago, I decided to spontaneously watch um, Semantic Error. It's like a BL K-drama. I don't know. I'm not usually a K-drama watcher and I just decided to watch it one night. I literally finished the entire thing in like one night. I stayed up until, I stayed up until like 6 a.m. to finish it. And it's not like obviously like Oscar worthy or anything in my humble opinion, but it was such a cute drama though. Like it was my first BL I've ever watched. And yeah, like I said, I don't really watch K-dramas, but I really liked it, you know? Like I thought it was really cute. So yeah, like any other person would, I looked deeper into the actors. <laughs> literally me after every movie or TV show I watch and... I started to get into Chechan and DKZ more. Same with Soham, who's the other co-star. So yeah, I have a very small Chechan collection now. Honestly, the main reason why it's small is because his photo cards are like super expensive because there's not a lot of DKZ collectors out there. And if there are, they're Chechan collectors. So the supply versus demand, it's very bad. So yeah, this though, this is a sticker from their recent album and I decided to use it as the cover because it was kind of like perfect. So this is not just going to be for Chechan though. So as you can see, I have some Chechan cards. I also have some Soham cards and I have some Sehyun cards because he is my second bias in DKZ. So yeah, it's kind of like a mix basically of DKZ slash Semantic Error. <laughs> Um, I also did buy like the Semantic Air mer merchandise that they're gonna release later this month. So that's gonna be on the way. Again, I know DKC has like a bunch of photo cards and stuff, but again, there's just not a lot floating out there. So I highly doubt I'm gonna like full on collect Chechan, but these are the cards I have for now. Yeah, starting off with his recent album photo cards. I have, I'm just missing one of them. I do have another one of them on the way from like Hong Kong, so it's like gonna take forever, but hopefully it comes in soon. But yeah, I pulled these two cards from the album, and then these are the K-Town for you pre-order benefits. At least they gave us two of these. And then this is the like ID card. And then these are from the Semantic Air um, photo essay. I did buy it <laughs> mainly for the photo cards, but it's basically like the entire drama in like a photo book, basically. It's super cute. So they're just like photo cards of their characters. And then there's this little like duo one, which is super cute. Yeah, like I said, I, I bought the Semantic Air like merchandise, which has like a bunch of photo cards. And then I have these two KNK photo cards from their airline album. And then this is his photo cards from the photo essay. And then we have some Sayon cards. This is his K Town for You POVs. Yeah, if, if you're looking for a drama to watch, it's on Viki, I believe. So yeah, I recommend it if you want to watch something. A cute little drama, I suppose. And then these are his album cards. And yeah, that is the entire collect book. I got this one from Amazon as well. So so a quick little flip through. I'm obsessed with this card though. It's so cute. I also did buy like some magazines of Chechan that came with like Polaroids. Those are on the way. I'm just trying to get as many Chechan cards as I can because like I said, his photo cards are like super hard to get since there's like not a lot out there since like DKZ is, is a smaller group. So <laughs> I'm trying my best. But anyways, there is that cute little collection. All right, now we have this collect book that I also got from Uri Chingu. It's like a cute little teddy bear photo book. I mean, collect book. And for this collect book, I decided to put my very, very, very small Toyong collection. I, again, I'm not gonna collect Doyoung's cards now, but he's kind of shot up my bias list. So what I decided to do is if I just like pull his album cards, from like my NCT albums, I'm just gonna keep it. So 
yeah that's how i managed to get these cards i pulled all of these cards and this was also from a group order so as you can tell it's a very small collection it's not even a, i'm not even going to consider this a collection it's just like just like a silly little collection let's just say so yeah I'm, i think i'm going to use this as the cover because it's like brown it's matching this is from the universe trading card packs i didn't get marks because i failed during the sorting so i got toyoungs and sungchans Oh my god, it's so like zoomed in, but it still works. It's super cute. I'm actually going to start with his album cards though. So this is his Neo Zone Kino. And then we move on to this bunny card. I can't believe I pulled this card though. It's so cute. I'm so glad I never like let it go though because I'm obsessed with this card. And he's been like getting more popular. So like his photo cards have been becoming more expensive. So yeah. And then this is... Oh wait, actually, I should do this one since it's from the same album. Have his jewel case AR card. We have his... This is from the Nighttime Pass, I believe. I got this from a group order. And then this is also from the same Universe set. And then these are like super random. Again, this is from a group order, but these are just like random scratch message cards from their the Link merge. These aren't like technically photo cards, I guess, but I'm still gonna put them in. But yeah, anyways, again, it's my very, very tiny little secret toy on collection, I guess. So once again, I'm not gonna really like seek out for toy on cards. I'm just gonna like, keep what I pull basically so yeah again it's perfect for a collect book because this collect book is very small so yeah at least I'll have some self-control <laughs> okay now we have this collect book the rest of these collect books are going to be from Amazon but I really like this collect book though I like the little like doodle concept so for this collect book uh yeah <laughs> when I said these are like silly little collections I seriously meant silly little collections so yeah I'm not gonna collect Monsta X in its entirety but I I mean I've collected Monsta X at one point if you guys have been a subscriber of my channel for like what years now I did collect Monsta X at one point and then I stopped and I've always listened to them here and there I'm basically just like a casual listener but this comeback Oh my god, I never talked about it, but I seriously am obsessed with it. Love is like my favorite Mazda X song now. It's so good. Oh my god, like literally the day it dropped, I was obsessed with it since. So I decided to get like, I got the jewel case for Shape of Love and then the Kino and then like one album version. So yeah, and Chung Kyun is my bias if you didn't know. So yeah, once again, there's a very, very tiny little... Oh wait. I take that back. This is not just Monster X. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it, it includes oh, it includes Monster X though. So here's some of my Monster X cards that I have. There's some Wano in there. And then we have just some like random. This is basically just gonna be like a mini silly little boy groups miscellaneous collect book. Yeah, this is just part one. So we have Monster X, we have Wano, we have my three Johan cards from when I collected him from X1. <laughs> and then we have some Chanu cards because he's my bias in Astro and these cards are really cute. So yeah, again, just very random. I know. I don't know what to use for the cover though. Maybe this card? This is from their recent album. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, this is such a cute card. So I guess I'll use this Chanu card as the cover but yeah this collect book is very different though like if you can see the texture of the page is like very different it's like a normal binder page it's not like the super like sticky glossy page that a collect book has and i really like this i wish all collect books had this like material it makes it like a lot smoother to put in yeah anyways i'm gonna put in my monster x cards though first the thing is since monster x cards are super big i can't sleeve them otherwise they won't fit so i will have to put these on sleeves hopefully my cards don't get like damaged or anything i don't know if these have pvc or not but whatever so yeah that's his k-ton for you pov his um, jewel case card we have his Kino card. 
And then I'm going to put his sticker in the back of this. And then his Polaroid. Carolyn, if you're watching this. <laughs> hey, Carolyn. I don't know if I ever told you this, but hey. And then these are my pulls from the album. So we have Minyuk's card. And then this Ki Hyun and Hyungwon card. All right, and then we have these POVs from Ki Hyun's solo Voyager. I was also very much obsessed with this, um, come, I mean, not come back, solo debut. It was so good. So yeah, Ki Hyun is my second bias, by the way. Oh my God. This is definitely not a satisfying like storing video because this thing is so tiny. And then I also have his sticker. Okay, and then I have these two Wano Obsession POBs because they look super cute. And also I loved his comeback. And then we're gonna put in these, again, random Johan cards because he was my bias in X1. So I just held on to these cards. And then this is from their latest we I come back, the K Town POB. And then again, some random Chanu cards. These are for my signed All Light albums because I loved that comeback. That was that this was back when I collected Astro, if you remember that era on my channel. <laughs> and then some more POBs. These are so cute. And this is from the Switch on pop-up store. So yeah, again, just this is just a, a boy group, spontaneous, miscellaneous collect book, basically. Just like photo cards that I thought would look cute in a collect book, basically. Again, very random, but we can do a quick little flip through. I honestly don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry if this is super confusing. <laughs> like, I'm confused too, but it's just by vibes, basically. So yeah. <laughs> This is just me justifying getting like eight collect books. This will not be the last eight that I get though. <laughs> but yeah, that was this collect book. All right, continuing on with the boy group miscellaneous collect books, we have this cow print collect book, which is adorable. And yeah, basically part two of the boy group miscellaneous. It's also, I guess, groups that, like, I would want to collect if I had, like, Kardashian money, but this, sadly, I can't, so, yeah. Or just, like, groups, again, that I really liked a certain comeback for. Yeah, very random. But we have some P1 Harmony photo cards. We have Pentagon Uzha, because I love him. He was my bias in Pentagon. We have this, these treasure cards from when I bought their recent album. Yeah, basically those three groups. What should I use for the cover? I think I like decided on this, but I forgot. Was it this card? I think I decided on this card. Oh, that's a little high up though. Should I just put it here instead? Okay, that's better. So I'm not going to use this front pocket because it's kind of high. So I'm just going to use this as the cover. So I guess we'll put in my Uzha cards first. Again, back in the days when I collected Pentagon. I still love Pentagon though, don't get me wrong. I'm just not like a collector anymore. But I love these positive cards. I love this set so much. It's so cute. I've held on to these throughout my collecting journey. And then we have this random ID card. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll put in the P1 Harmony cards. So these are the K-Town POVs, I believe. I also blame Pats for slowly roping me into standing. Well, not standing, but like liking P1 Harmony, I guess. And then I did buy their Do It Like This, the English um, album that they or English version of the song. They had like a mini physical album, so I just bought it from Amazon because it was like it was like 10 bucks with prime shipping. So I was like, why not? This will be my official first P1 Harmony album. <laughs> and these are my pulls from it. I can't believe they give three photo cards though. That's so generous for like a $10 single album. I was like, damn. 
And then we have my treasure cards from when I bought the recent album because I, again, <laughs> I keep saying this. These are just like from groups I like used to collect at one point and then I stopped, but then, you know, I still like them. I'm like a casual listener, but I really liked this treasure comeback. If you guys remember my collective haul video that I opened these in, I still listen to you till this day. That song is so good. Oh my God, this collect book though is so wrinkly. <laughs> if you, can you guys, you guys can definitely see the wrinkles. That's the con of this collect book, but whatever. It's cute. I like the cow print. This unicorn is so cute. Oh shoot, I should have put this here because it's with Hyunsuk. Whatever. And then these were my album pulls. Oh my god, what's that even in frame? <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to my phone, so sorry if it was off frame. <laughs> All right, wow, I have, only have a couple pages left, but again, these are this is definitely not a collect book that's gonna like grow quickly, so yeah, and if it does, I can just get another collect book. But we'll do a quick little flip through of my miscellaneous cards part two. <laughs> For boy groups. Just very random. But yeah, that was that. All right, now we have this collect book. This is more of like a matte collect book. It also has the same keychains as the cloud collect book, but I also really like this collect book as well because the material for this is like very different. So it's like a lot easier to like slip in and out. So yeah. But for this collect book, I'm going to be putting in my miscellaneous NTT cards. So initially, I did put these in my NTT A5 binder, if you guys remember. But because I have like a bunch of NTT photo card sets, like the DI con set, I had to kick out some cards because um, I had no space. So basically, that A5 binder is now like a NTT set binder like sets of photo cards and so I decided to put these in a collect book because where else would I put them you know so another excuse for me to get a collect book so this has like random NCT cards the Chaehyun cards I decided to keep after I dropped his collection some more random cards a lot of these were like cards that were gifted to me so obviously I don't want to like get rid of them because they're gifts so and then we're gonna put this Chung card as the cover because this Chungu card is like my absolute favorite. I remember when I pulled this in my unboxing, you can literally go to my punch unboxing and see my reaction. But this card, I was like manifesting it because it was so cute. So yeah, I guess we can start with my mini Chaehyun collection now. I still haven't even sold my Chaehyun collection yet because I've just been so busy with school, but I definitely need to though because it's just sitting around in my house and I need the money. But I just don't, don't have the time. I guess if you want if you want to host a group order and you're an experienced group order manager, hit me up. <laughs> but yeah, these are the cards I decided to keep because they're too cute to hass up. So yeah. Or they just have like close value to me. Like this one I got from the NCT tour, so I don't want to get rid of it. And this is the bus card that I pulled. And then these are just some miscellaneous cards. Also, like, pulls that I wanted to keep, basically. Like, these two Taeyong cards I wanted to keep because they're so cute. This one was a gift from Pat. And then this Shotaro I pulled. This is the SM Town version, and it's super cute. I also pulled this Johnny, and I thought it was really cute. Same with this. This is his bus card. And then these three Nature Republic Polaroids were gifts, so I didn't want to get rid of them. I am trying my best to like downsize and actually like get rid of some cards though, so... But these cards I didn't want to let go of yet, so yeah. Thus, the NCT Miscellaneous Collect Book was born. Why is it kind of hard to flip through these collect books? I need to literally use my nail to flip them. But yeah, there's that. 
Now we have one more collect book. All right, the last collect book I have is this like gummy bear themed one. It's super cute. And for this collect book, we are gonna be putting in my miscellaneous girl group <laughs> photo cards. So again, I know this can go in my miscellaneous A5 binder, but again, I just thought these cards would look cute in like, I guess a collect book. And these are like artists that I would like kind of want to collect. I kind of keep up with, I casually listen to. So anyways, first we have my Yenna collection from when I bought her Smiley album because I love this solo debut and also the photo card and the concepts are super cute. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to her comeback. And then we have Ayu, who I've, who I've loved for like the longest time since childhood. Same with Sonia Shida. So we have some Taeyang cards. I have to put this as the cover though. It's so cute. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed with this card. Oh my god, it literally fits perfectly! Oh my god, so cute. And then we'll just start with this. Again, I know it's kind of silly to put in the stickers, but I mean, I wanted to fill up these pages a bit, and also these stickers have her face on it, so that's my justification. I guess we'll put a card in the front, and then the stickers on the back. So extra, I know. And then her other holo card. And I'll just leave this empty for now so we can put my IU cards. Again, I wanted to put the IDs in here as well for some reason. <laughs> my Taeyong cards. This one is from the OGG version of the SMCU albums. I did buy it off camera. I actually was about to post a TikTok of it, but I never ended up posting it. So yeah, and then this is from our INVU album. And then I pulled this in the Lil Touch Kino. And then this was is also going to be my collective haul. I'm like spoiling everything in this video, but this is from the Got The Beat merch, and I bought the sticker set, and I just thought I would put it in here. It came with two. And yeah, again, we can do our final flip through of this cute little collect book. So yeah, again, it's like a miscellaneous girl group collect book, I guess, <laughs> or slash soloist. Basically female artists. Yeah, don't these cards look super cute in a collect book too? Like, I'm kind of obsessed. So yeah, but anyways, with that, that concludes this video. All right, here is my finished array of collect books that I set up today. First of all, this video was a lot longer than I thought it would be. I just thought that this would take like, what, like 20 to 30 minutes. I am 45 minutes into filming and it is currently 4 a.m. So I should get to sleep. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully you guys like these collect books. I mean, I definitely love them. These will definitely not be the last times you will see these and also these collections. So stay tuned for more. I might even buy more collect books. Who knows? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.